Hello chemistry students, welcome to another revision. We have a question here that says figure 3.1 shows the apparatus used for the electrolysis of concentrated aqua sodium chloride using graphite electrodes. So this is a figure here, I hope you can see it clearly. All right. Then, what are the questions? Label the cathode on figure 3.1. So we need to label the cathode. But you can see that we have a direction here. There's a negative sign here. So where we are here, that's where the cathode is. So this one, yes, yeah, sorry. This is our cathode. Concealer. Explain why concentrated aqueous sodium chloride conducts electricity. So why does concentrated this sodium chloride conduct electricity? Well, in an aqueous solution, any aqueous solution, electrons, or let me say ions, are able to move. Since ions are able to move, this they conduct what the, uh, electricity are together, right? So because the ions are able to move. Or we can use the other English, we can say due to mobile ions. All right. Name the product formed at the cathode. All right. So we have sodium chloride. So sodium. It's aqueous. That means there is an issue of H2O there. Get the concept right? And you know that sodium is positive. Chlorine is negative. The hydrogen here is positive and the oxygen there is negative. Now the question is, what is formed at the cathode? So the opposite, is, is, is it sodium or hydrogen? Well, the one which is which can easily be deposited in an aqua solution is the hydrogen. So the hydrogen is the one to be formed there because it can easily be what, uh, deposited there due to its what, um, electrochemical position. So that is hydrogen. Chlorine is formed at the anode and because it's one of the negative. Remember, opposite charges are attracted. So the negative ions will be attracted to the positive because chlorine can easily be discharged than oxygen. Construct the ionic half equation for the reaction at the uh, now, since chlorine is being formed, well, we need the gas at the right side of the what? Of the equation. So we need a gas at the right side of the equation, meaning that we have this situation. We need to have an ion on this side. Now, because there's a two here, we need to put a two there. And to balance the equation, we need to add two electrons on the right hand side. Get that. Graphite is suitable as an electrode because it conducts electricity. State one other property of graphite that makes it suitable for use as an electrode. So what makes graphite to be used as an, an electrode in electrolysis? Well, it's simple. It's because it is in it. It is in it or an reactive. That's all. State the product formed at the cathode when molten sodium chloride is electrolyzed. Now, we are no longer dealing with this. The whole thing here was aqueous, right? Now, let's assume we are dealing now with a molten solution of the same sodium chloride. Now, in molten, there is no need of water to be present. That means we only have the sodium ion and the chloride water ion. There's no need of having the hydrogen and the oxygen ion. That means at the cathode, the only one which can be deposited there is the sodium itself. Sodium. You get your total free six marks. You are welcome.